Right, less than 20 applications of the Myra theorem number one. I'll be going through quite a few of these um, just to demonstrate the power of the Myra's theorem. We have to show that the square root of 3 plus i to the power 4 plus the square root of 3 minus i to the power 4 is a real number. So to do that, first of all, I'll rewrite this in the uh, polar form. So we're going to let z1 equal root 3 plus i and z2 equal root 3 minus i. Now taking the first one, z1, we go here, so there's your root 3 and your 1. And here we can see that's going to be 2. And this is going to be pi up on 6. So z1 in polar form is equal to 2 cis pi up on 6. The other one, so we're going to go down here, so conjugate. So we can see it's 2, and this is going to be the minus pi up on 6. So this is going to be z2 equals 2 cis of minus pi up on 6. <coughs> now z1 to the fourth equals 2 cis pi up on 6 to the fourth. And from Demarva, that's 2 to the fourth. And that will be cis of 4 pi upon 6 or 2 pi upon 3. The other one said 2 to the fourth. 2 cis minus pi upon 6 to the fourth. Cis, not cos. It's 2 to the fourth. That's cis of minus. 2 pi up on 3. Okay, so that's when you add those two together, z1 to the fourth plus z2 to the fourth, you get 2 to the fourth as a common factor. Outside of, now this is the cos of 2 pi up on 3 plus i sine of. 2 pi up on 3 plus the cos of now the cos of minus 2 pi up on 3 is just the cos of 2 pi up on 3 minus i sine of 2 pi up on 3. As these guys go out and you get that being 2 to the 4th is 16 times and the the cos of, that's 2 cos 2 pi upon 3. The cos of 2 pi upon 3 is minus a half, so that becomes negative 16, which is a real number. All right, now you've thought about probably about 20 of these complex number lessons. To make things a little bit easier for yourself, if you subscribe to my site, right, um, and uh, and click the email tag, you'll get uh, what's currently coming up in with complex numbers and all my other videos on this site. So please make yourself uh, available that uh, 